And this segment is going to talk about QAM and PSK, probability of bit error and probability of symbol error, and how to calculate those probabilities. We talked uh, so far about three different ways, and I'm going to review them. The first is, is to come up with an exact expression. An exact expression is possible in some modulations. Um, so for example, square QAM. Um, we talked about how you can decompose square QAM into two perpendicular and independent versions of PAM, and thus you can analyze and come up with an exact expression. We talked, uh, we have not talked about yet how MRE PSK has an exact expression, um, and this is in the Rice book the probability of symbol error for MPSK, um, and we're going to do an example about that. But when you're unable to come up with an exact expression, we have two very good ways of coming up with uh, other expressions, one a bound and one an approximation. So I'll talk first about the union bound. The union bound um, comes from the basics of probability, or the axioms of probability, we said that if we have a union of two events or a union of n events, we can have this probability of these events, EI, um, be less than or equal to the sum of the probabilities of the individual events from, again, whatever indexes of these events we have. And this is because even though the events EI may overlap, that probability of the overlap that gets double counted when I add together the probabilities of the individual events, that probability of the overlap is positive, and so when I ignore that, this side becomes higher. This sum of probabilities becomes larger or greater than the, the probability of the union of all those events. And this led us to the expression for any arbitrary constellation, we can write a, an expression with the union bound that says that the probability of symbol error is less than or equal to an average over all symbols, so m symbols. So I'll say i equals 0 to m minus 1. And then the sum here is over the events that I make an error for each neighbor of i. So I'm going to say j in n of i, where n of i is the list of neighbors of symbol i. And within that sum, I have an expression using the q function that we take the q function of the square root of dij squared, the distance between symbol i and j, divided by 2 n naught. And that is our union bound. Now, we have a third way of coming up with an expression, and that is the nearest neighbor approximation. And that says, well, all these distances are great, and we'll include every neighbor, and we'll get a legitimate bound. But some of these distances are much bigger than others, and they don't contribute much to the, to the actual function, the probability of symbol error. So by ignoring them, I'll get a reasonable approximation. And so what we came up with is this probability of symbol error, then, is approximated by the number of neighbors that are separated by some minimum distance, that's n min, divided by the number of symbols, and then the q function just including the minimum distance. So I look in my constellation at all of my neighbors, find the minimum distance, that's d min. I plug that distance into this q function, which is a square q function of the square root of d min squared divided by 2 n naught, and then I multiply that by this factor, the number of those neighbors, 
that are separated by distance d min divided by the number of symbols. Sometimes gets denoted in the book as the probability of error, but I'm going to use the probability of bit error uh, very explicitly in my notes to make sure that you know that I'm talking about the probability of bit error and not the probability of symbol error. Um, we're going to assume that um, gray coding is possible. Gray coding is that the neighboring symbols to a particular symbol are different by one bit. So that one symbol error uh, causes approximately one bit error. And this, with this approximation, I can write the probability of bit error as approximately 1 over log base 2 of m. This log base 2 of m is the number of bits per symbol multiplied by the probability of symbol error.